It's Tanya and I'm here again doing one of my art journals. I've kind of slacked off a little bit so I got my groove on and I decided I needed to work in my Dina Wakely gigantic journal and yes I'm putting a lot of gesso on and I don't know why but I really enjoyed doing this. There's something quite satisfying about smearing something across a page like that. <laughs> And it does go through that burlap onto the other page, which is quite nifty too, because then it gives it some dimension on the other side. So, you know, it's all good. And yeah, I grabbed a few of my homemade sprays that I did, and I'm going with greens, and then some blues, and then some sort of orangey yellows. And yeah, just spraying and smearing, smearing and spraying. And you'll see on the left there, I have a lot of cut out very colorful looking bits and yeah I decided to follow some advice that I got from my good girl I was going to say girl pal <laughs> Yuri Landgraf I'm one of her patrons so I watch her videos and she has this great series going on at the moment all about art journaling and how you know you have parts of it and then it all becomes one whole thing and yeah I was just showing you I'm using some of Vicky Booten's paints because I didn't really like how the sprays had turned out but yeah to get back to the bits so she recommended in one in one of her videos making your own elements sort of watercoloring your own elements so I went absolutely mad and watercolored a bunch of flowers and paint stripes and all kinds of things with the idea of creating kind of like a scene and yeah you've got to have white splatters that's just part of the course so yeah I really enjoyed it I didn't show you the painting part of it because it you know really it's it's like a five-year-old painting with paint <laughs> my my flowers are not uh, realistic they are not fabulous well I think they are I mean not fabulous I think they're great but yeah, they are very rudimentary. There we go, that's a good word. So yeah, but they make me happy. And when you look at all that colour, it's like, oh, I titled this video Feeling Like a Kid Again because that's what it made me feel. And I've sped this up really fast because it's quite boring watching somebody glue things down like this. But I will say one thing, I love that hot glue gun of mine. It is cordless, it's a Bosch one. It works extraordinarily well. And I think it's fantastic. So yeah, getting back to the feeling like a kid again, it, oh, it takes you back to, you know, art at school and where we didn't have any inhibitions or hang-ups. We just kind of drew what we wanted to and thought we were great and fabulous and all of that. So yeah, that's kind of what I have going on here. And I like my flowers. I think they're, I think they're really cute. I did watercolor, uh, uh, on watercolor paper and cut them out and it wasn't that bad I have Tim Holtz's large scissors and really the cutting out was quite easy I did it in front of the fire and the TV and yes I'm getting a whole bunch of bees on those are Amy Tan's stickers from her latest collection they came in the May May hip kits and yeah I'm not really can't really see myself putting bees on a layout so I figured it was okay to sneak them in onto a an art journal page and yeah now I'm getting some very basic leaves going because I figured you know otherwise they're going to look a bit odd if they didn't have leaves and I'm using my mermaid markers and actually I used all variety of watercolors doing my flowers and whatnot I had my pans which is sort of a combination of Prima Marketing and some others that I've got and then I did some of the mermaid markers and then I did some of the what else did I do? Oh, the crayons. I used I used the watercolour crayons as well. You know, Dina Wakeley's and Jane Devonport's. And yeah, I just grabbed the colours I really liked and made my flowers. And now I'm just putting some bits of doodles on them. Because, you know, you've got to kind of jazz it up. Oh, cannot talk. Jazz it up and make it look kind of funky and friendly. And yeah, some scribbles up the stems of the flowers and then I'm still getting through these I'm almost done with them almost finished them and actually I have a bit of a, a bit of advice with these because as you can see there I'm kind of battling to get them off the backing sheet don't keep these kind of things for too long 
use them up because otherwise you might end up not being able to use them at all because they they seem to have a a reasonably short shelf life not short short I mean I don't know I must have had those a couple of months or I don't know a year six months no idea but yeah they do they do seem to become very attached to the back round and as you see here when I pulled them off they also became unattached to each other <laughs> so, but it's all good and I've got it on the page and I'm gonna get some of these Maggie Holmes words on as well and it's all the feel-good stuff and I was just having a blast so yeah what can you all tell me if anything at all are you art journaling are you scrapbooking are you I don't know what crafting are you doing at the moment yeah give pop a comment below and let me know it's always nice to know what everybody else is up to and yeah now I've got a white gel pen out and this works it worked quite well on some of the paint and yeah I'm going to do the whole gluing down of those words as well because a I love the hot glue gun and b they weren't sticking very nicely you see the white more in the photograph at the end than you actually can on the video but it gave it a little bit so you know I felt I ought to do a little little bit more doodling really must get into doodling I like the concept of doodling I just my imagination seems to fail me when it actually comes to doing the doodling which I know sounds ridiculous but I mean by now you know that anything I say is probably moderately ridiculous anyway <laughs> so yeah I briefly thought about using the enamel darts but then I realized that it's not going to work because they're going to be a bit two-dimensional uh, as it is these flowers are reasonably dimensional because you know when you hot glue something down it, it raises it up a bit and not everything is glued straight down so but I like that I liked that a lot and oh I don't know if you noticed you probably didn't I went really fast but as I was coloring in those leaves I managed to get green all over my hand and that kind of bothered me ever so slightly <laughs> not yeah no I'm not there yet people not there yet that I can have completely dirty hands but yeah some of these pink fish studio puffy hearts on all over the show and this yeah and that's it this is my my art journal spread I was going to say layout look at me so I hope you enjoyed it I hope it inspires you to maybe do something similar and if not doesn't matter <laughs> have a wonderful day and we'll chat again soon bye bye